Today I'm sharing my favorites for the month of October and you better buckle in. I got a long list of great things. That's coming up next. Welcome in. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. And I'll have to say I have so many good things to share with you today and they cover the gamut from makeup to hair care to lifestyle products to clothes and everything in between. So grab something to drink, get cozy. This might be a long one. If you're new here, a very special welcome to you. I hope you'll consider subscribing and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. As always, all products that I mentioned today will be listed and linked below, and they'll also be over on the blog, so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into it. I have so many things to share with you today. I hope this video is not an hour and a half long, but if it is, it's going to be worth it because I've got a lot of good stuff. I have everything today from hair care to skin care to lifestyle, everything in between. I'm going to start with makeup. The first product I want to share today is this Tartlet in Bloom palette from Tarte. And this is not a new palette. By golly, it's been around for quite a long time. You can see it's a beautiful 12 pan palette of neutral shades. I had been hearing about this palette as just one of the best neutral palettes out there for a long, long time. And I finally picked it up at Ulta about a month ago. I am so glad that I own this palette. It has become a staple in my makeup routine. The formula is beautiful. The colors blend so well. It's sophisticated. It's just everything that I would be looking for in a neutral palette and then some. You can see this is mostly a matte palette. There are three sort of shimmer shades, but not the kind of glittery stuff that doesn't work well for my over 50 skin. It is a beautiful selection of all the way from a very, very white white right up here to a nice cream tone that's great for blending over the entire lid to some beautiful transition colors to some really deep colors to really accent the outside corner of the eye. And those are things that I always look for. This palette is a complete palette. In other words, I don't have to go to any other palette to complete the look. Everything that I need for a full look is here, including some very, very dark darks that I could use for eyeliner as well. This palette really is such a bargain. The pan size is generous. It's absolutely beautiful, nice clasp closure. It's just a real quality product, and I'm so appreciating having it. So this is the Tartlet in Bloom from Tarte beautiful neutral palette. I'm loving it. The next makeup product that I want to talk about is something I got in the last month as well and I'm really really enjoying it. This is from Stila and it is their Correct and Perfect palette and you can see here it is a complete color correcting palette. I am really really appreciating this. It's a little bit more of a high-end product and you guys know I'm mostly a drugstore gal but I'm all on board if I find something at a little higher price point that really, really does a good job, and this does. The reason I like this palette so well is that it will address any color correcting that I need to do regardless. In other words, any color correcting color is in this palette. It's beautifully laid out. The creams are at the top. The powders to set the creams are at the bottom, and it has this nice little plastic covering for the cream area so that it doesn't get contaminated from the powder. I mostly use this peach color right here because I have purple underneath my eyes and this does a great job of helping to correct that color. The formula sinks in nicely. It blends out very well. It's super pigmented so I barely have to like dip my finger in in order to do one eye. I like the fact as well that if I get a blemish or if I get something else going on in my face, I've got the colors right here in this palette that are going to take care of that. So it's really a very convenient one-step correcting palette. I think this is one of the favorite pieces in my makeup collection right now because it's very, very useful. It comes in beautiful packaging. It has a nice mirror right here, class closure. Really, I have nothing but nice things to say about this Stila Correct and Perfect palette. This is one of those liquid watercolor blushes from Daniel Sandler. Have you heard about these? 
They are quite popular in the makeup world. I had been hearing about them for probably well over a year, hadn't tried them, finally got a set in. Three came in the set that I got, and this is one of them. I'll have to say this is one of the most exciting, unique blush formulas I have ever tried. It's a tiny, tiny little bottle, and it's all liquid. Can you hear that in the bottle? It is exactly like working with watercolor. Here's the formula on the back of my hand, and you can see it's extremely liquidy. It's really just a remarkable formulation. The colors blend out just like I'm painting in watercolor. It really is so, so pretty. And the look on the skin is so natural. It just soaks into the skin and makes it look like your cheeks are just flushing in the most beautiful way. One thing I can say is the first time I used this, I used way, way too much. You only need the tiniest drop and that will be plenty for both cheeks. They wear beautifully throughout the day. They feel like nothing on my face. And I'm just such a big fan of this formula, particularly if you have a lot of texture on your skin, this could be a great solution. This is in the color Lux. I do have three other colors that I ordered. I like every single one of them. I don't think you can really go wrong with any of the colors, at least the ones that I've tried. They're all beautiful. I have everything from a peachy look to all the way to a pink. I have something that's more of a nude shade, and you'll see all of them in Get Ready With Me's in the coming months. But oh my gosh, this Daniel Sandler Watercolor Blush. It's a little bit of a higher end product, but so worth it. If you're in the mood, treat yourself to one of these. I think you'll really appreciate them. I've really been working on the eyeliner issue for my crepey, wrinkly eyelids, and it's really kind of a challenge when you get a little bit older. Finding the right eyeliner pencil for me has been very, very important. And I discovered too this month that I'm really, really liking. This one is from Stilla and it is their smudge stick. And this one is from Wayne Goss. It's his eyeliner pencil. And I am loving both of these. Here's what both of them have in common that I find to be very, very important to getting an eyeliner that's going to work on my eyes. I need a formula that is extremely creamy. In other words, I can't have it moving and tugging at my eyelid skin because that makes the line very, very uneven, even more so than it is just with my regular skin texture. So I need a very, very creamy formula, and I also need it to set down and not move. Both of these do that. The Stila is an automatic pencil, so you just twist it up, and it is so soft and so creamy, by golly, I have to barely just even touch that to my skin, and it goes on beautifully. The Wayne Goss is a regular pencil, so you just sharpen this one, and it goes on just as smooth and creamy as well. So the Stila here is the brown, and the black is from Wayne Goss. I can tell you I've used both of them quite a bit in the last month. They both work beautifully. I use them to line the top of my lid. Then I go in with a small angled brush and kind of smudge it out. I also use both of these to tight line underneath my upper lashes and they both set down beautifully. They don't move. I am enjoying both of them. I really can't tell you which one I like the most. I like them equally as well. I think they're both very, very quality liners and I am so glad to find a liner. And I'm so glad to find two liners that not only go on very, very creamy on my more mature eyelids, but the formula stays for the day. So appreciating both the Stila and the Wayne Goss eyeliners. Now I want to jump into fashion and talk a little bit about some jewelry and some clothes that I shared this month. This necklace, without a doubt, is the ones that you guys have asked me about more than any other piece of jewelry I've ever worn on the channel. Let me go ahead and put it on for you. Isn't that just the prettiest necklace? I love it as well. And guess where I got it? Target. I am not kidding you, and it was really inexpensive. I think it was maybe $12 or $13. But here's the thing. I got it in store at Target about two months ago. I have never seen it since. Not anywhere. I have not seen it in store, nor have I found it online. And I have gone online to the Target website probably 10 times looking for this necklace and have never seen it. And you guys keep saying, where did you get that necklace? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to tell you because I have not been able to find it since. I love this necklace. 
So what I did is I went on a hunt on Amazon to try to find one that was as similar as possible to this necklace, and I found two. This is the first one I found, and I got it off of Amazon, like I said. Here, let me try it on for you. Of the two that I have found, this is probably my least favorite of the two for a couple of reasons. First of all, I think the chain is a little bit heavy to the size of the faux pearl. The second thing is, is that I don't know if this is my favorite color of gold. It looks a little bit almost too orange to me. This may work really well for you if that's your style. For me, it's probably not my favorite of the two that I found that are very similar to that original necklace. This is the second necklace, and this one is my favorite of the two that I found that are similar to the first one. The difference between this is the difference in the pearl, and you can see that the top of the pearl is covered in a faux gold casing. This is how the second one looks, and I think that this is a much prettier combination as far as weight of the chain to the pearl. Oh, pearl. <laughs> so I wanted to show you these two necklaces that I found that are very similar to the first one that you guys all love. If I end up seeing the first one anywhere on the Target website or in stores, I'll be sure and let you know. But both these necklaces will be listed below if you want to go ahead and check them out. I did find a new necklace on Amazon this month that I really, really like, and it's this one right here. It is that paperclip style chain, which is really, really popular right now, and I really am attracted to it. And it has just a little faux medallion coin right here. It's a toggle necklace. I love a toggle necklace because sometimes I have such a hard time with those tiny little chains and clasps. It's really hard for me to do them, particularly if I have my nails on, which I don't have right now but a toggle is so much easier for me and I'm really attracted to them, not only for the way that they look, but for the ease of getting a necklace on and off. So this is a new necklace that I picked up from Amazon. I thought you guys might like to see it. I've been wearing the heck out of it lately. Now I wanna share a couple of your favorites. I did a few fashion videos in the last few weeks. One of them was an Amazon sweater haul and the other one was where I tried on about, I think 13 or 14 pairs of jeans to show all of us what different jeans look like. There's so many different styles of jeans these days. I wanted to try on a wide variety so you all could see what the different styles looked like. Well, two of them came out to be your favorite. This is the first pair that most of you liked, and this is the second pair that most of you liked. It was really interesting. These two pairs ended up being your absolute favorites, and most of you said those were your favorites out of the whole lineup. I think I did 13 or 14 jeans. As for the sweater haul, you guys liked so many of the sweaters that I found off of Amazon, and I did too. You know how Amazon can kind of be hit and miss? In other words, you're not really quite sure what you're going to get until you get it. This particular order I put into Amazon for these sweaters, I liked every single one of them. It really was quite amazing. And you guys liked them too. However, there was one that seemed to be the most popular, and it was this burgundy sweater. You guys loved the color. I think you loved the style. It's an easy, easy, beautiful top to put on, and I think this color is just so very beautiful for the fall and winter months. So out of all the sweaters, this is the one that you guys were the most crazy about. If you're on my email list, you got an email about this next clothing item a few weeks back because I am so in love with it. It is the pajamas from Walmart, and they're called Secret Treasures. <laughs> I am not kidding you one little bit. I bought this first pair. This is a pink velour set, and it is just the most comfortable, cozy, yummy pajamas I've had in a long, long time. This particular set was so wonderful that I went out about a week later and got two more sets because I panicked. Like, what happens if this one's in the washer and I don't have any cozy jammies to wear? So I ended up picking three sets of these Secret Treasure pajamas up from Walmart. Now here's a little tip. There are two different styles in the Secret Treasures line for these PJs. One is the velour, and the other is more like, kind of like a stretchy jersey material. I have them both. Personally, in my opinion, I prefer the velour. I think it just feels a little bit heavier and a little bit more cozy although the jersey is super, super soft and super, super stretchy. Now, mind you, they're all stretchy. They're all super comfortable. I love them all, but I think 
if I just had to choose between one of the two, I would go for the velour. If you're interested in checking these out, I want to let you know that my local Walmart is getting really, really thin in stock for these pajamas. When it first came in, they had racks and racks and racks of them in all different colors, in all different patterns, any combination you could think of. Well, it's gotten a little thinner now. People are really picking these up. I don't know how thin the inventory is going to be online, but I'll have it linked down below. So go ahead and check these out if you're into cozy, comfy, stretchy, yummy winter jammies. These absolutely fit the ticket and they're so very affordable. Okay, now I'm going to talk about something that's near and dear to the hearts of us women over 50 years old. <laughs> readers! Oh my gosh, I mean, do we all have about 100 pair of readers somewhere throughout our house in our car? I certainly do, and I have really struggled to find really good readers for a long time. What I have found out is that the world is filled with mostly readers that I don't want to wear. <laughs> Either they don't fit on my face very well, or the lenses just aren't as clear, or they fall down, or I don't like the way they look, or whatever. Bottom line is, is that I have consistently gone back to this particular brand that's on Amazon. I don't know the name of it, it'll be listed down below, but these to me have been the most reliable, they last the longest, they come in a set, I think there's seven or eight of them in a set, different colors, all very wearable, and you know what? They're just really good readers. They're not necessarily the ones that I would wear if I was doing a Zoom meeting or wanting to look a little bit better in my readers. These are not those. What these are are just a really good pair of sturdy readers that work really well for my eyes that I can count on and they don't fall apart in a couple of months and they don't slide off my face. So if you're interested in getting a great set of readers, I honestly, they're under $20. I'm pretty sure they're maybe $18.99 or something like that. But of all the readers I've tried, these are absolutely, for me, the best bargain for a great pair of a whole bunch of readers at a good price. So there you have it. Next, we're going to talk about stinky stuff. <laughs> What I mean by that is deodorant. I shared a couple of months ago in my favorites that I was having a heck of a time finding a deodorant that didn't have aluminum in it that still worked well. Most of you suggested that I use Native, so I went ahead and ordered Native. This is their coconut and vanilla. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. Gosh, I really want an ice cream that's flavored like this. Anyway, I tried the Native and you know what? It's good. However, it works for me maybe 75% of what I would want a deodorant to do. And if you guys love Dative and it works really great for you, I'm happy for you. But apparently I'm kind of stinky or something. So I'm liking this. I like the fact that there's no aluminum in it. That's a healthier option. But it's not as completely effective as I would like it to be. So if you've got something up your sleeve that you'd like to share with me, I've heard a lot about those crystal deodorants that are just like a crystal that you rub underneath your arm. If you have one of those that you can suggest for me, I'd love to try one. Or if you have any other suggestions, I do like this native. I'm sure that I'll repurchase it. I just am open to finding something that I might like a little bit more. <laughs> now we're on to hair care. So many of you message me on Instagram and send me emails and comment on my videos about what hair products I use. And you know what? It's nothing fancy at all. This is my OG lineup that I use on my hair. Gosh, I've been using these products for what, 20 years? I don't know how long has Kenra been around. I have tried other products. I keep going back to Kenra. I realize they're a little bit more expensive, but they're not as expensive as some products out there. So I think of them as kind of moderately priced great hair care products. I use the Kenra Volume Spray 25 Hairspray. I love this. It makes my hair soft and silky. It doesn't feel crunchy or sticky and yet it holds my hair in place. And then one of my favorite styling products is the Dry Texture Spray. And what I do with this is that I just lift my hair up and shoot just a little bit underneath my hair to give me some more body at the top of my hair. So as far as all the hair care products that I use for styling, these are my two favorites, my Kenra Dry Texture Spray and my Kenra Volume Spray number 25. Okay, I have a couple of household items here to finish up with and 
you guys are going to want to know about these because they're so cool. The first one are these metal straws. <laughs> now we all know that straws are the bane of our existence on this planet and I don't know why they came up with straws to begin with. Were they not thinking it through? Anyway, straws are not good for the environment. That's why we want to use metal straws because they don't end up in the oceans and they don't end up harming the animals that live on this planet with us. I finally bit the bullet and bought this packet of 12 metal straws, stainless steel. I'll tell you what, this has been the handiest thing I've stuck in my kitchen in a long time. There's 12 straws in this package and I'll tell you, this was, I think it was under $10. It's so affordable. I have used the heck out of these straws. What I do, and they come in all kinds of different sizes. You can see they're short and long, they're straight, they're just curved. I love all of them. I just simply use them, then I rinse them out underneath the faucet. When I'm done, lay them on the countertop to dry. This set does come with a little bottle brush that you can stuff down into your straw if you've been drinking a smoothie or something like that, and you wanna make sure the straw is cleaned out really, really well. So if you're not on the bandwagon of stainless steel straws yet, I can tell you what, you're gonna be so happy that you own them. Just about one of the handiest things in my kitchen. Okay, this last thing I'm so excited to share with you because if you get one of these, you will be messaging me to tell me how much you friggin' love it. That's how good this is. I picked these up from Target. This is a plate that's kind of a plate bowl. I got four of these. These are just on the shelf in Target. In other words, they don't come in a dish set, but it just so happens that this particular color matches the dish set that I did get from Target. This is the handiest plate bowl slash, I don't know what you want to call it, I have ever used. And I'm not kidding you one little bit. I don't use my regular plates anymore. I use this because I can pile it up with salad and a little bit of quiche or some sauteed vegetables and something on the side and nothing falls off my plate. It is like the most beautiful, glorious, wonderful combination of a bowl and a plate in one thing. This is without a doubt the handiest bowl slash plate that I have. I will never be without them because I love the fact that I can just pile it up. I can scoop things out. I can swirl them around on my plate and I don't have to worry about them sliding off the edge. Trust me, go buy one of these and use them and I think that you will be a convert forever. And we need to come up with a really cool name for these like a plate bowl or a bowl plate or something. Something really cute. One of you clever people will come up with something that's wonderful. Anyway, love this. My daughter's coming to visit next weekend. Can't wait for her to try it. She's going to love it as well. Woo, that was a long list of favorites for the month of October. If you're still here, thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.